Hey everybody, Amy Williams here. I am jumping on today because I feel like I really need to apologize for something. I recently had a free Zoom called Body, What Do You Know? And I feel like this thing happened with me, which has happened before, and I am done with it, okay? And what happened was I feel like I got sucked back in to only delivering the most basic information in that Zoom. I had so many things I wanted to tell people. And I get that, you know, sometimes it's the basics that really do unlock thing for pe things for people. As a matter of fact, it is kind of true that about hmm, 80% of what we have going on can be changed with the simplest, most basic tools of access consciousness. But there were so many cool things that I wanted to get into that day that I just left it feeling like, what just happened? Did I do that thing I do again? So I have a pledge for you. In the future, it is my intention to refer people to basic information in other places and then come back and listen to whatever it is we're doing because it will make more sense, right? And for the people who are on, who are who have had the basics, they've had a ton of stuff, they know how I can jump on a rocket ship and take them into some really cool, interesting stuff that we can play with to change our bodies, change our lives, change things on the planet and create greater possibilities. This is my target and this is the playground that I wanna play on. Now, do I have lots of classes that are designed to teach basics? Absolutely. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But what I've found is that, that when people have been around for a long time, we really need to go and start opening up the things that have not been getting changed with the basics because they've been working on that. Is that you? <laughs> Are you one of the people that has been playing with these tools and you're like, let's go, let's dive in, let's dig in with some of these hot new things or even some more involved, advanced things that have been around for a long time. Like there are lots and lots of things we can play with, with the tools of access consciousness. This body of work has been around for 30 years and there are so many possibilities that you may not have run across yet. And I love to play with those with people. And, and what happens is frequently we dive in and as we're playing with the energy, something unfolds that I've never even heard of or thought of before because we're literally following the energy for where that person needs to go to unlock the limitation that has been created somewhere along the line for them. <laughs> That said, we also have a saying in Access Consciousness, you gets it when you gets it. <laughs> and what that means is that some of the basic tools, like who does this belong to, which is what we dove into on that Zoom. So if you want to go back into that light and heavy tool, who does it belong to? Is this mine or somebody else's? You really want to go watch that because we go into it and take our time really getting into our bodies with it. But I had this thing happen. Sorry, I keep bumping it. I apologize for the jiggling. Um, I had this thing happen recently where one of the basic tools just bloomed for me in a mind blowing way. And I have seen people who have been to more classes than I have say things like that, like, I think I'm really just starting to get who does it belong to. And I know they've been working for access and in class weekend after weekend through many, many years. And I'll just go, wow, that's really cool that that person said that. Uh, you might think that they would feel like they knew the basics, but that's the thing. We meet the tools where we are in the moment. And every time we have our bars run, every time we run a clearing statement, we have changed something fundamentally. 
So then the next time we meet those tools or look at a particular issue, something new can unfold and change. So here's what happened for me. I got a ping to take a class that was basically an introductory level class on a not introductory subject from a facilitator who is wonderful that I'd never taken a class with before. And she said something that blew my mind. We were talking about the clearing statement and she did what I'm vowing to do in the future, striving to do in the future, which is refer people. Hey, if you haven't heard the clearing statement, go to theclearingstatement.com and check it out. And then this will all make more sense. But she said a thing that I had never heard in these words. And what it was, was she said that what the clearing statement is doing is Basically, you're unlocking your decisions, judgments, conclusions that you have about whatever energy it is you're looking at. But then she said something different. And she said, you, you have put energy into maintaining this thing. And when you do the clearing statement, you're pulling that energy out. <laughs> Mind blown. And nobody had ever said it to me that way before. And isn't that cool? Because if we have a limitation that we have really bought and we're feeding it energy for years, well, I'm not good at blah, blah, blah. Well, blah, 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 this is what's bad and wrong about me. Well, blah, 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 this is what's bad and wrong about somebody else or the world or my body, whatever. We've been putting a lot of energy into maintaining that thing. So when we pod pocket, which is short speak for the clearing statement. There I go again, telling you the basics. <laughs> um, we're pulling our energy out. So no wonder that things that are really heavy, weighing us down, uncomfortable, creating depression, anxiety, limitation, lock up, block up, no possibility can lighten up and we can have more access to ease, joy, more fun with our bodies, more possibilities with our businesses or our relationships and everything, because we now have that energy available to us. So there it is. I did it again, but it was so juicy that I couldn't wait to tell you. So here's the thing, the, the pledge, the, the idea of what I'm striving for is to always just refer people to the basics if they're new on a class. And I sense that the overwhelming energy of the class is ready to go, okay? That's what I'm striving for because there's always interesting places to go when you're following the energy. And yet, coming up, I've got some basic classes. If you get into a bars class, you've got a whole day while we're learning bars of learning many, many basic tools of access consciousness. There are classes that myself and others teach that are one hour intros or maybe book studies. And then Access Consciousness Foundation, it's a deep dive, folks. We go wherever the energy takes us. We follow it and help you unlock whatever it is you're looking to change. But it's fundamentals. It's all the basic tools. But there's a lot of them, and they are really juicy. And we don't get into all of those in a bars class. You have four days of playing. So for right now, when this video is being shot, the conscious body class that's coming up starting next week, we're going to get on the rocket ship and go wherever you need to go. And I'll give you tools in between classes. I'll give you referrals to things you might want to go look up somewhere, find a video on this, find a video on that. I've got lots of content that I've now created to help bring people along so that they can go easier, faster, and change things more efficiently. Um, and you'll be able to tell when you look at a class, if you get the sense, oh, there's something there for me. That's so light. I want to take that class. That's what happened when I took that introductory level class with that other facilitator is it was so light. I knew there was something for me there. And so if it's light to take a class, don't decide what you're going to get. Just ask, hmm, I wonder what can change for me now. If you've been getting the ping to take bars, maybe you're never going to use it on anybody. Maybe you having two sessions in a day will blow your world open. Or maybe you'll start to get fluent with the basic tools. 
if you've been called to take foundation and it's pinging you, you may not even need to take it from me. Maybe somebody else is light, like, oh, there's a facilitator from so-and-so somewhere. Do that. What's light is what creates the most. Choose what's light, my friends. And in the future, I'll explain when I need to, refer when I can, and take you wherever it is you're ready to go with what you are asking for on your journey toward more consciousness and lightness in your world. Thank you for listening. This probably got long, but I hope you got something out of it. I'm so glad to get that off my chest and apologize and know how I am moving forward with you. Take care now. Hope to see you in the future or meet you if you're finding this for the first time. Go to amywilliams.us and you will find all the stuff I'm up to right now or the info to get into a private session with me. Take care. Bye-bye.